Hi there my friends, welcome back to This is Aguro. Today we're going to be talking about the five things to do right now before the holidays come. And this is not in any way a video that is pushing you to live fast through the fall, through the season, but actually it's a video that I come up with because I'm starting to slow planning this year. It's me wanting to share with you uh, what I go through starting from right now so that my holiday time is more enjoyable, less stressful, less overwhelming. Um, so I take care of a few little things that help me to achieve the goal. And so I'm just going to share this with you and let's get started you guys. So I'm drinking today right here. I have my hot healthy tea. This is a detoxing tea. It is made with roasting dandelions and licorice, so it's really good, actually. It tastes really good. All right, you guys, let's jump right into the video. And my tip number one for what to start to do right now before the holidays come, like Thanksgiving and Christmas, uh, I give myself a big calendar, you guys. Either it's my planner or I have a big one in the kitchen where I can write all my to-do list and on one side I write all the things that I have to do with my goals, my little tiny goals because that makes it more exciting to see all those achievements and on the other side I have all the things that I need to get so I keep making a list of all the things that they need to be replaced in the house what I need to get for the holidays if I come up with an idea with a project to do with the kids so I have it right there I start to jot down all my ideas what was that? <laughs> okay um, it's okay, that is with them. So, is to jot down all the appointments, all the fun things that you want to get to do, all the family gatherings that you know that are going to come up in the next few months. And so that you don't overbook yourself and you also don't do too much uh, because that's a great tip. Also get yourself for the holiday time, start right now, a little receipt envelope right here that you can have all the times with you in your purse and this is going to save you time if you need to return some of the gifts that you purchased already. I love this idea. I always carry it with me in the car, in my purse and I make sure that I keep no matter what all the receipts. That leads me to point number two which is Look at your previous year's commitments. See if you can cut down on a few events, for example, that are not necessary for you to be at, to attend, and also might take resources as far as money and energy and time away from your family and from your you know, finances. So just revise what you did the previous year and see what you can cut down. Because I think uh, this is the reason why I like to do slow planning because I really want to enjoy each day. I love the holiday season so much for so many reasons. Obviously for what it means and for just the mood of feeling cozy and gathered around the fireplace or in front of watch, in front of the TV, watching a family movies all together and just the little, little things. And uh, it's a very, very precious time that I don't want it to be wasted. I'm very jealous of the time that I had during the holidays. So tip number three. Now, this is a good time for you to go through your inventory. So what I mean by that, what I do is I go with a piece of paper with my agenda through each room and I see what I'm missing for the winter months coming. That means I go through my pantry and if there's any staples that I need to get and I keep it very simple, you guys. This is the key, I keep it very simple. I don't overwhelm myself. I don't spend too much money either. I think that all those big companies are right there ready to get you to spend money on everything. Money on the beautiful, pretty packages and it's fun, it's fun to look at. I like to window shop a lot. It brings back memories of when I was a child but I do not fall for it anymore since I became more essentialist. So, uh, you know, I always stock up with this, lots of nuts and uh, little coconut flakes and shea butter and cocoa chips and um, just a couple of staples like maple syrup, you know, just for the baking. I make sure that I have enough. So if I feel like improvising a cookie party with the kids one afternoon when it's raining outside, I have everything that I need. But then again, I keep it very simple. Few ingredients that they help me to make a lot out of. And lots of spices, you know, ginger, to make gingerbread cookies and pumpkin spice, herbs. So that's really what I do. I just gather a few key ingredients that they enable me to make a fun little things for the winter months. 
also what I like to do is going through all my cleaning supplies I just make sure that I have enough trash bags that I have enough batteries you gotta have batteries don't forget the batteries so I like to shop through the month of October little by little you know as I go to the stores to gather these few key supplies I also make sure that I have enough dish detergent, laundry detergent for the months ahead. And what I do once again with that, I just keep it very simple. I get myself a bottle of, let me show you. Okay, my hair got stuck on the cabinet. <laughs> Go figure. Okay. All right, so what I get myself is one of these big bottles right here, okay? This is 18 in one pure Castile soap. This is pure Castile soap and all it has in it as well castile soap and this is great i do laundry with this in a pinch even when we were camping this is great to wash any surface in your house floors furniture this is great for dish soap detergent this is just great this is great for washing fruit and vegetables when you bring them back from the store so i keep it very simple i don't buy any more uh, tub cleaning products uh, floor cleaning products dishwasher detergent no i don't even use the dishwasher what i'm talking about dish soap detergent uh i just have one product and this does it all so i really suggest you really highly recommend you to get this big bottle it's 10 bucks you can find it everywhere at walmart target the natural stores and uh but it's really it's a life saving so you just get a couple of these and you're good for the whole winter also go through this is a good time to go through your medicine box you know you want to make sure that you have enough uh, medicines for the cold and flu season so what I do is I stock up on teas that are really good for your bronchitis if you have a cold if you have sinus like for example nettle leaf or uh, anincha I hope I'm pronouncing it right I'm gonna write it right here so you guys know what I'm talking about and elderberries I stock up on little packages of elderberries I get them from the natural grocers and they're really cheap believe it or not and they're organic and I make my own elderberry syrup with that so I, again just a couple of key ingredients or key things and it's so simple I make sure that I have tons of honey tons of ground ginger in a little spice bottles and let's see turmeric wow turmeric so just a couple of things like that they really i know they're gonna help us to go through the winter season and oils essential oils i have all those that i like my favorites my favorites for the house to diffuse and for our bodies too so you can make you know the rubs the chest rubs with the eucalyptal essential oils so many things but i'm going to be sharing those with you in different videos we're going to get into the diy video later on now point number four very quickly is i suggest you you start doing the big cleaning right now and this is exactly why i'm doing the series cleaning my house getting ready for the holidays one day at a time so i'm talking about deep deep extreme cleaning <laughs> like moving the beds that's what i've been doing today you're going to be seeing there in the next video tomorrow moving the bed uh my poor husband <laughs> and uh you know vacuuming clean just really get into those places where you wouldn't get there on a your weekly you know cleaning routine get into the filters get to change the filters you know your air filters like things like that so i really recommend you to do that during october which is kind of a dead month as far as holidays go because then there's november and then it's december so you want to get done so all you need to do is just a little bit of maintenance during those months tip number five is plan your diys right now i was and easy ideas come to your mind because this is what happened to me i'm very creative so i need to have always a piece of paper to jot down my ideas or i forget them i get so many like at night time i can even sleep i just need to have the agenda to put everything down empty my brain and relax and know that i got it there i'm gonna get with a plan and so that's what i like to do i just like to come up with my diys guys if you are into that i need to recommend you to go to thrift stores i got these big gigantic jars right here maison jar legit maison jars that they are, that they go for like six bucks in the store i got these for a dollar a good we all got a bunch of these and they come in medium size you can find all kinds of sizes so if you are into diys this is the good time for you to go shop in thrift stores because you find the most of the inventory right now which they're gonna run out of pretty soon you know 
so shop right now for thrifty stuff and just get creative save your money i just eliminated all the extra because they're gonna take up space after the holidays to store and i don't have that i don't want to end up with a bunch of boxes in my garage so i just want to be really nice and simple that doesn't take away from the meaning of the holiday and also i think there's such a much more beauty to come up with your own things to bring uh, to a party or as a christmas gift is more zero waste too if you want to look at it that way and it creates memories it creates memories for the people that you give it to and for the people that you made the special gift with because i like to do everything with my kids i like to involve them i want them to be creative i want them to get all the creativity out and just feel happy and content with what they made also look into your freezer make sure you're stocking up on some uh, frozen vegetables lots of frozen fruit right because you want to keep healthy during those uh, winter months you want to make sure you make yourself good smoothies good soups full of goodies unless they're organic and bpa free uh there's just a, obviously a bunch big amount of junk in it like lots of salt and other things that they put in it just make sure you always read the labels you guys a little see the wisdom right in here but if you buy them frozen uh more likely you just get the product itself you know without any fillers in it tip number six which is just a bonus tip that i want to give you guys and this is what i like to do personally make yourself a little pampering station it's very important that you find even for 10 15 minutes a day time for yourself if you don't find that you won't be able to take care of the rest of your family so what i do what's my pampering station i got myself a little a little thrifty basket from the goodwill once again for just a couple of bucks and i have my favorite books in there my spiritual books everything that helps me to relax and to just restart press the reset button and uh, yeah and i like to have a couple of fun things like some nail polish epsom salt baths those are really nice to have in your home epsom salt they're so good you just soak in there if you're feeling a little bit sick and especially if the kiddos start developing a temperature it's so nice for them to just detox and it's gonna break the temperature too with just a nice warm not hot but just warm bath with epsom salt in it so and plus hey they make a great diy gift you can just fill up a nice mason jar with epsom salt a couple of all of essential oils in it and there you go you have a nice zero waste gift right there and uh, so i like to have all those little baggies in there i like to have a little nail polish because i doubled my self time my me time as a little date with my daughter so we just sit down we put some cream on our feet some nice warm socks on and this is what we like to do you know those 15 minutes or just even before you go to bed and you snuggle up and watch a movie there you have it, you guys make sure you have tons of popcorn in your pantry the fresh ones the real corn organic corn that you're gonna pop yourself in the pot <laughs> and there you have it you guys these are my uh five tips i hope you did enjoy this video please let me know down below in the comments if you have any other ideas any other hacks or tips uh, so that we can start slow planning this beautiful holidays coming ahead of us and uh, i do hope you've enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye